Welcome back, this is the M-Check. Today we've got Gunslinger KF Rig Suicidal. And, uh... Today... It's been a busy day, honestly. Why is it, like, perfectly square? It's a bloody... Today's been a busy day. Um... I also have, I might sound a little bit funny, because I just eat, I just ate some blueberries, and I'm noticing that I got, like, a, a seed or something stuck in one of my teeth, so I'll have to go floss after this video, I guess. Um... Yeah, it's really annoying. Go floss, brush after this. Oh, I got a, I got a message. Hold up. She says she's good. I was offering. Oh my goodness, what are we doing? I was offering to buy something from Seven Eleven for my sister. They do deliver here, so I was going to be ordering some some snacks and a bit of food since I didn't get to eat too much today. Um, I really got to go grocery shopping so I have food. It, it it's really a problem. Um, so I'll just go ahead and check out here. I already had my stuff in there. I was just going to add hers when she got it to me. 7-Eleven's menu is like a billion years long. So it's kind of... I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go record. She can poke through the menu and then uh, go from there. I'll add it in if I get it. But I just want to have mine. And there it is. Okay. That was me uh, checking out. They just took my money for some, some snacks and some food. A little uh, personal pizza and uh, a little bit of candy and uh, well that's about it <laughs> but you know I don't really want to I gotta go grocery shopping so I have food here is really the moral of the story I have like pasta and I can make like butter noodles or something but yeah I love them like don't get me wrong but at a certain point you're like I just want to eat like sushi for every day of the week you know and why why wouldn't you as long as, long as you're, uh, you're eating in moderation, the only real problem is a financial one, you know? As long as you're not, you know, ordering five bags of chips and, you know, three pizzas every time you order from 7-Eleven, it's not really a problem. Outside of financially and perhaps nutritionally, but, you know, it's, it's not a everyday thing, so it doesn't really matter, to be honest. I mean, I'm not, uh, I'm not the kind of person who's like bodybuilding and that kind of stuff. I do have to lose weight, but like I'm, I'm not ordering, you know, an enormous amount. Um, especially when I order sushi, I don't. Uh, I if I sometimes I will order like a ton of sushi and then I'll just not eat anything else for the day. Um, because sometimes I just want to eat like a ton of sushi, you know. Sushi's a really weird dish, though, right? Like it's just raw fish, you know. Like, uh, I was talking about it recently, and my favorite, uh, sushi is, is, uh, is tuna belly sashimi, which is just straight up, just like, straight up, just raw tuna belly. <laughs> like, that's just actually what it is. It's not even wrapped in rice, it's not wrapped in seaweed, it's, it's just like, straight, raw uncooked sliced tuna belly like you go find a fish that's swimming in the ocean and you cut out a piece of its belly it tastes good <laughs> you know like just like that it's i i think about it whenever i eat sushi like just how weird it is because it's weird um you know like i used to work at um in, in the seafood department, and, um, I'd see all the raw fish everywhere, and it's like, you know, there, there's, a, there's a difference between, like, some random raw fish that you get on the side of the road, uh, you know, at your local grocery store or whatever, and, um, fish that you would use in sushi. Um, you can't, you can't just go to the store and buy, like, a salmon and then eat it raw. That's not safe. Um, but it always kind of, like, it was weird because, like, the fish looked... Like, I was like, I just want, like, just like this, I just want to eat it. Like, you know, like, whenever we had, uh, fish that was just, like, w that was actually sushi safe. You know? It was, uh, I was like, yeah, I just want to, like, just, like, eat it. <laughs> you know? Like, it, j it just looks delicious. And it's, like, such an insanely weird food. But, like, it tastes really, really good. Can't eat too much of it, though, is the thing with, uh, with sushi. With, uh, well, 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 
with uh, with sashimi anyway. And it does need a little bit of soy sauce, in my opinion. Well, it doesn't need it, but it, it helps. It makes it better. Um, but uh, yeah, it's 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 weird. It's definitely weird. It gets the the weird seal of approval from me. Oh my god, what am I doing? Really? How many shots does it take from the deagles when they're not upgraded to kill this guy in the face? I thought it was two, but I guess I'm wrong. So I talked yesterday about how I have to record for the, uh... The Minecraft episode that goes up tomorrow. I got a lot of it done today, but, like, it's... I'm just being honest with you. There, it's, a, it's a lot of work. Um, just the building blocks that I picked are ones that, like, I, I spent, like, three hours farming one of the blocks that I use for the build, and it's, like, a minor block, <laughs> you know, like, and that's not even including the, like, digging out the huge space for it, and then, like, building it, and then, like, designing the portal room, and then, like, you know, all this, like, oh my god, we're getting a straight-up phone call. Hello? Hello? Hi. See, I got your order, and in there, there is a two left to choose Doritos. So, uh, we only got one. Okay, they were missing one of the uh, the bags of chips that I ordered. All right, I also ordered chips, I guess. Um, yeah, it's kind of annoying when you order from Seven Eleven because they they don't like verify that they have stuff, and you can't ever know when you're ordering it on the uh, online. Then they uh, they end up calling you, and they're like, "Oh, we don't have this. Do you want it to be replaced with like this or this?" And it's like, "Ah, eh, whatever, dude. I don't care." Like just, just give me anything, <laughs> you know. Like, give me my money back. Give me anything. Like, I don't care. It's it, whatever. The chips aren't the important thing. I really just want my pizza and my candy. The chips are are more of a snack on over the next while. Um. Anyway, what was I talking about? Right. Yeah. So like, I I, just, I spent an enormous amount of time. It's not even counting like building it and designing it and then all this kind of stuff so I'm like oh my god it's, it's the first episode where I'm really feeling the like yeah there's no way I, in hell that I could do this if it were uh because the first couple of episodes were like you know okay yeah sure they uh, they they work um they uh they they they, they go fine um you know couple of couple hours get a video out you know no problem um, now I'm in the at the point where it's like every video I'm recording or at least this video that I recorded it's, it's the only video that, that it's happened so far but this video is, is taking an enormous amount of time the next video is gonna take a lot of time as well and like they're, they're starting to take in the double digits of hours for for app for to make an episode and it's like it's 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 really hitting me like yep there is no way in heck I could possibly do this while also having a job you know which is expected I didn't expect to be able to I'm, uh, I'm hoping to, to make it a living eventually I messaged the uh, the minecraft subreddit mods um, about if I was allowed to, to post my let's play there because they do allow videos they, they don't have anything specifically excluding let's plays and I'm like I don't know maybe, maybe they allow it um, apparently I'm not uh, active enough in the sub, so I'm not allowed to, so I'm just going to be more active in the sub, and then they'll allow me to. I, I asked if, like, so I, I, I tried to clarify, you know, like, hey, so if I am more active in the sub, then I do get to post my videos here. They haven't responded, so I've, I pestered them a little bit again, and that's that's all I'm going to gonna go on that. I'm just going to assume I'm right after that. Um... Like, I want to be a part of the sub anyway, because it's good for the channel, like, even if I'm not allowed to post my videos there, but I want to know if, uh, 
if if I'll be allowed to or, or if they'll be like, no, your motivations are clearly, you know, insincere. Um, we're not going to let you post your videos here, you know? Um, because, uh, like, like, you know, it, 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 let's say a month from now, two months from now, I'm allowed to post my Let's Play, and I post, you know, an episode of my Let's Play. It's not, it, nobody, nobody's going to care, okay? Like, just, just real talk, nobody will care. Everybody that looks at it will be like, hey, whatever, I'm not really interested. Um, if I just post the generic, you know, Let's Play. A lot of the people who would just ignore it might be interested in the video uh, if they were to already be a part of, of uh, you know, I don't know, the people who know about me and, like, are aware of me and um, have, like, seen some videos of mine and are like, yeah, I'd like to stay up with this, keep up with this and, and watch it. You know, this is fun, but, you know, keeping somebody around is one thing. And uh, interesting people in the first place is another, right? I'm not saying which one's easier or harder. I think they're both equally challenging. They're just separate things. Um, to have to have people stay around, you have to have content that's enjoyable, content that's unique, and uh, you know something that people are going to want to continue watching. But to make people watch you in the first place, you, you got to have something. You got to have some, you got to have a pitch. You know. You gotta have a, a, a bit, some something that's gonna draw them in, something that's gonna grab their attention and be like, yeah, watch this, you know? So, uh, if I'm gonna be allowed to post my videos to the sub, then I, I have to kind of get started on it, like, now, to post it a month or two from now. Kind of start planning out, like, how am I gonna do it? What are we gonna post? Like, how, how much editing am I gonna put into it? How much time am I gonna invest? What's the video gonna be about? You know, like, all this kind of stuff. Because rather than just being a generic Let's Play video that I post to the to the server. It's, it's going to be more of like an advertisement, I guess, of, of my channel, you know? It's, it's all about the marketing, right? Because, the, the yeah, I mean, the, the point, the moral of the story is, you know, like, if, if I just post a, a Let's Play, nothing's going to happen. There, there has to be some extravagance to it, something to, to make people want to watch it, make people want to upvote it, something to, you know, get people sharing it and talking about it. You know, you might you might find some people who are Gonna, gonna enjoy it if you just post your let's play but if there's nothing special about that let's play it's not gonna get upvotes because the the subset the, the the group of people who are actually gonna be interested in watching your let's play or my let's play are are much 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 smaller than the group of people who are gonna be interested in uh, in some kind of other content on the subs so you gotta kind of like make content that's for everybody but very clearly show that this is a part of a, of a Let's Play so that you get the attention of everybody and uh, all the people who can like, who would actually be interested in watching it get to be aware that you exist and um, you get to, to kind of have those viewers come in like that. So it's it's just, it's it's important to, to do that. So I wanted to, to, to ask and just make sure that like, I'll be able to do that. So that uh, come a month, two months from now, or whatever, when I actually have uh, everything ready, I'll be able to do it, and I'll be able to start preparing from that. And if they say no, you won't be allowed to post your let's play here because your your motivations are clearly insincere, or like whatever, you know, maybe you have broken rules or something. I don't know. Um, then I just won't waste my time. You know, I'll I'll just continue making content and and working on other um new adventures. But even if uh, I'm not allowed to, it's still a good idea for me to be active in the sub. Um, if I can build up even the slightest bit of a name for myself in the sub, oh, yeah. you know, people can be like, oh, hey, you're you, yeah, you're, you're always so helpful, like, thanks for helping me, like, you always have uh, you know, some kind of input, you always, you know, like, that kind of thing, then people will be like, oh, yeah, I know, she has a channel, too, have you seen it? And people people will talk about me, you know? And it might take months, you know, a year, even, to, to get to that point, where, uh, where other people are talking about me because of my... Uh, participation in the sub um, but as long as I'm being like helpful and reasonable and respectful and all that I, it, it should happen eventually um, I currently have a I have a picture of my portal room up on the sub as well that's another thing that you can kind of do they have nothing against pictures um, as long as it isn't like bloggy style content um, so posting those can also be pretty good uh, whenever I have something that I particularly like well, I'll probably post it there Oftentimes, people will, will ask you if you have a, a YouTube channel, you know? They'd be like, 
this is really cool. Do you have a YouTube channel? Like, is there anywhere I can watch you, like, do this? You know, and then I get to respond to that rather than, like, pushing myself. So it's all this, like, behind-the-scenes marketing stuff that uh, a lot of people don't really realize is going on. And it's it happens with everything, too, right? Like, you might think that what I'm doing is, is pretty, like, I don't know, desperate or something, you know? But, like, that's this is what marketing is. <laughs> this This is what it is. This, like, you know, McDonald's does this, right? Like, it happens all the time with, with everything. It's, uh, this is how marketing works. You know, it's not, uh, it's not desperation. It's, it's advertising. The thing is, you can't just go find a place where you can post your, your content, right? If you go to, like, some, you know, Let's Play or subreddit, the only people going there are people who want to advertise their Let's Play. Nobody's going there to find a Let's Play to watch. You know? Nobody's doing that. So what you have to do is you have to, to build a name for yourself somehow um, and uh, get people talking to you and asking you questions and, and uh, start to kind of like network that way and, and start to, to spread your name that way rather than just going to like, you know, reddit.com slash let's play advertising because like nobody goes there to watch a let's play. Nobody goes there to find something like people only go there to... To advertise themselves, right? Because have you ever gone there? No. Have I ever gone there? No. And it, 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 well, yes, I have, but only to, to post my own videos. Um, and that's the point, right? Like, have you ever gone there? Have you ever gone there to find somebody to watch? I, I I can almost guarantee you that for as long as this video is live, no matter how popular I get, all of you who are watching this, there could be millions of people watching you. I can almost guarantee you that not a single person. Whoever watches this video will have uh, come from uh, that play, from 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 one of those like link aggregates. Nobody will ever do that. It doesn't happen. People don't go there to, to find people to watch. You know, they they go to the sub for you go to r slash Minecraft and you just make a post being like, hey, what kind of YouTubers do you guys watch? You know, or you go to Google and you just like Google it or you you search around for it. you find somebody right. You don't, you don't go to those link aggregates. Um, it just doesn't happen. So there's no value in that. And I don't have the money or the currency or the, like, desire to actually buy, like, advertising spots, right? Let's get you restocked. So my marketing comes from, from word of mouth and uh, just, like, some general networking, you know? Uh, we'll have collaborations coming up soon as well, hopefully. In the next month or two, I'm hoping we'll have something with uh, people on the Serenity server. Um, but yeah, it's 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 this is just kind of the way that it goes, you know. This is how it bees. Like like it or not, this is uh, peak performance. Um, no, but like that, that, that's that's kind of how it goes, right? So anyway, I've got uh, some plans to advertise myself on the Minecraft subreddit. They seem reasonably receptive to the idea. Um, just not right now. It'll it'll take a a while before I'm I'm seen as uh, accepted into that uh, click, you know. And I, I have to think about what I'm gonna actually post, what kind of like content I'm gonna have, and try to do something funny or something interesting. Um, so I'm I'm trying to think of like what kind of build could I have in a let's play. That uh, cause cause my idea. For, for what I'd want to do is I'd want to have a showcase of a build that we build in the Let's Play and then make it like share that showcase video and uh, get viewers that way because that would be a little bit more of a, like people would be more receptive to that kind of content it's shorter it's uh, more direct you know there isn't as much content that isn't about the title you know what I mean like it's 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 a showcase of this thing and it's it, that's what it is right there isn't all this rambling and and all that, and then uh, it also makes direct mention and, and very very obvious that like you know there, there's a let's play associated with this. Um, so I'm I'm trying to think of like what that could be. Um, maybe like a cool like episode ten or episode twenty kind of like monument or something. I don't know. 
or like I, I could make like a if I get comments on my videos I can make like a comment of the day library or something I know Etho's done that but like it's 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 a good idea it definitely helps with engagement and it would be a good way to advertise and, and a good way to show that I have a channel that you might want to watch um, we could also like perhaps for serenity we could have like some kind of collaborative content on Serenity and then make a post there, like that, I don't know. A lot of stuff that I gotta think and I don't really want to make any concrete plans until they get back to me and say like, yeah, you would be allowed if you were more active. Um, but I'm not sure they will. They seem a little bit stuck up, to be honest. I'm being nice and respectful to them, but they, they seem a little bit... And you know, I can't blame them. I'm, I'm, you know, another YouTuber who's not active in the sub being like, am I allowed to post my videos here? I just, you know, all I care about is uh, the advertising I get from this. Can't blame them. Uh, I'd be a little bit annoyed at, uh, at me too, but they uh, they don't seem very receptive to, to me and my existence. I try to be as respectful as I can, but it, it, is, it is a little bit frustrating at times when, like... You can't just have like a mature conversation with uh, with somebody because they're annoyed at other people who are in your position, but like aren't being respectful about it. You know, when a, a bad apple kind of ruins the the whole experience for everybody. So I just I just want to know the rules. I just want to know the regulations. I just want to know what I can do and what I have to do and what I have to meet and the quotas I have to get to and all this kind of stuff. And it's like I'm asking a lot of questions, I guess, but like I just I want to know. You know, I, want, I don't want to break any rules. I don't want to step on anybody's toes. I want to make sure that I'm making content that people are actually going to like and appreciate, you know? I want to get this stupid blueberry seed out of my teeth. It's annoying, man. I'm excited for those pizzas. 7-Eleven doesn't have the best pizzas, but every now and then, you know, it's just like... You know what? I can go for a 7-Eleven pizza. They're not good pizzas. Like, I'm not... This isn't an endorsement for... For 7-Eleven pizzas. Something fun's this is a, uh... Very much so not an endorsement for 7-Eleven pizzas. But it is an endorsement for... If you're feeling like you want just a cheap, gross pepperoni pizza... Go to 7-Eleven! It's greasy, it's gross, it's nasty, it's terrible, it's not really good. But gosh darned it, sometimes all you want is gross, you know? You ever in that mood where you're just like, yeah, I could make something nice, I have the time, but I'd really rather just spend three hours preparing something that's just terribly disgusting instead because that's really the, the mood I'm in right now. You ever have those kinds of days? Because I have it at times. And I'll, I'll, I'll spend more time than I would have had to spend to make something way better. Just to make something that's just, like, not very good. Because, like, that's what I wanted. You know, that's that's what I was... It was it's my calling to, to make the, the gross pizza at the time, you know? Some, sometimes, um... You know, there'll be a frozen... Well, actually, I actually haven't had frozen pizza in probably a while. I wouldn't be surprised that the 7-Eleven pizzas are frozen pizzas, though. If, even if they are, it's been a long time since I've had one of them, too. Um... I don't, uh, I don't order 7-Eleven much at all. Um, I mean, it's just not like a good place to order from, honestly. Like like I said, it's... Uh, um, like, when you do order from them, they like... Always end up don't have enough, like not having enough, because they're, they're, they don't have like stock on the thing, and like... You end up, they end up having to like call you being like, oh, we don't have, um, you know, enough, uh, we don't have enough wings for you. Actually, yeah, that's a good story. I ordered wings from 7-Eleven once. They have good wings. I'll, I'll, I'll give them that, okay? 7-Eleven, at least the 7-Eleven that I order from, they have good wings. I'll give them that. Um, their wings are good. Um, but, uh, man, this blueberry seed is really bothering me. It's like right in there. Hello? It's eerily quiet. Anyway. Um, I ordered wings. I ordered... Uh, and they, they didn't have enough. I think I ordered like 12 or something. I ordered 12 
plain, like, crispy, breaded wings. Kind of like a KFC style, but, but from 7-Eleven. Um, honestly, I like the 7-Eleven ones more. Um, neither of which are ones that I would order very often. <laughs> Just to be clear, they're not. Neither, neither of those are, are very, you know, apt uh, meals to, to order. Um, typically when I order food, it's sushi. I mean, sushi's just kind of like not that bad for you, you know? So I don't mind ordering it. Anyway, anyway. Um, I ordered like 12 or something like that. And uh, they were like, we don't actually have 12 of the plain, you know, crispy wings or whatever. And I'm like, I right, just give me six of the those and then six like pub style or something. I ended up getting like 30 some odd wings out of it <laughs> then I'm like so I I you, you said he didn't have enough I ended up getting more than however many I ordered of the wings that that they said I didn't they didn't have and I, then I also got like more than I ordered of the of the the pub style wings and I'm like yeah I don't I don't 12 wings is already like some of that's going away for a bit this this is just like some of this is just gonna get thrown out, <laughs> you know? Like it's just I don't know I don't have it in me to eat that many wings. I had some you know I like wings I like chicken wings they're good, but uh, there's there's a limit to everything that's that's too many wings. Oh, it's too many wings, dude. So I don't know maybe, maybe I end up with like 18 bags of chips today. I only ordered two. I ordered two, uh, I think it was Zesty. I don't know what I'm getting one of them replaced with. Um, I like having chips. Just around, you know? From time to time. It's not a, it's not an all-the-time thing for me, chips. I, I like chips too much, is the problem. So I, I tend to avoid them, but... From time to time, it's nice to just have some chips and, and munch on them when you're watching some, some YouTube or... Or something, you know. It's a nice. It's a nice snack for sure. Candy is something I'm happy to order, though. I don't. I don't like candy too much. I like candy. I like candy a lot, but I don't like it too much. You know what I mean? Like if if you take if you uh, take my candy away from me, I uh, I'm not gonna get too upset. You know. Whereas if if you take my chips away from me, I'm I'm probably gonna be too upset. And uh, that's that's the point where I go. You know what? I'm just not gonna get chips that often. I don't need them. They're not good for you. They're too addicting. They're uh, they're too much. But so yeah, sometimes it's a nice uh, it's a nice treat. A couple bags of chips will last uh, a good while. So and I figure somebody else in the family might uh, want to steal them too. Although I don't know what I'm getting one of them replaced with, so I might end up just throwing it out. It's barbecue. I think I got. Instead of zesty, instead of zesty Doritos, I got barbecue Doritos. Is the, is barbecue Doritos a thing? I've never had them. No idea. They're just barbecue like cl cl Lay's chips or something. Like I don't know what I'm getting. I got no idea, dude. I'm hoping it's good. <laughs> Whatever it is. If not, I'll give it to somebody else or just throw it in the garbage. It's not that big a deal. This is a great map. It, it's got a few bugs, though. <laughs> For sure. Got a little bit of time left tonight as well to, um... To record, so... I was I was hoping I'd have enough time to record, uh... The rest of the Minecraft video today, because I got another, like... Six minutes or something like that to fill. Um... But I'm thinking I'm not going to have the time for it. So I'll just have to, uh... Uh-oh. Hello. So I'm, I'm, I'm guessing I'll, I'm thinking I just have to get up early tomorrow morning and uh, record. You're gonna laser, yeah. I'll have to get up uh, early tomorrow morning and then record the remainder of it, and I'll have you know tonight to kind of um, get everything ready for it and prepare everything I need for the the like five minute clip that I'll record. Because <laughs> tonight I still have to get another video done for KF2, so don't really got time. Don't really got time. I'm tired. 
It's been a long day, dude. I've, I've been playing so much Minecraft today. Just so much. Fulfilling my responsibility to post on the sub as well. Helping people out. I'm browsing by new. I think I get like, I think I get uh, some some brownie points for browsing by new and uh, and answering you know questions and and troubles and stuff like that, explaining things and, and all that. I think I get some some extra brownie points for that. So that's what I've been doing. I also enjoy it more. Um, finding people who are like having troubles and kind of helping them. I, I like being the helpful person. So I get brownie points for it, and I like it more. So it's good. Uh, anyway. That's going to do it for today, so thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like, subscribe to see more in the future, comment if you have anything to say. 30 minutes, holy cow, this is a long map. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.